Houston Pentecostal Fellowship, Houston Youth Pentecostal Fellowship. You are doing a good thing by having this fellowship. No, I'm going to correct that. I intentionally said that. <laughs> but I'm going to correct that. You are not only doing a good thing by having a fellowship of Malayali Pentecostal believers, you are doing the right thing. See, there are so many good things in this world for us to do. And oftentimes, God's people are busy doing good things. But I have a problem with this because whenever there is an opportunity to do something good, I like to do it. I like to do it. But then Holy Spirit will stop me. Is that the right thing for you for this time and this season in your life? Yes. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. And then Paul and his fellow ministers were traveling. We read this in the book of Acts. When Paul and his fellow ministers reached at a certain place, the Holy Spirit said, do not preach here now. That was not the right time for them to be there. So Holy Spirit said, no, not here, not now. Yes, the night on that night, Paul had the Macedonian call. Come and help us. When God sometimes asks us, don't do that good thing now. He is calling you to focus on the right thing for you at that moment. Thank you, pastors, for keeping this ministry and fellowship going. Thank you. How many, you know, we talk about pastors and their city. How many pastors' wives we have here today? Would you please stand up? <laughs> 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 yeah. But <laughs> the CPU or this is telling it's very easy to leave the pastors. <laughs> my wife's been talking with my dear Thangacha and almost every day since we came here. Tell you a little brother to give some advice and send him back. Let us put our hands together and appreciate. Thank you. God bless you, my dear sisters. 
And God will reward you for all the tears and all the all the troubles that pastor's wife often goes through that nobody else knows. Keep on doing this ministry of this fellowship and I hope to hear God is using Houston Pentecostal Fellowship and the Youth Fellowship for greater things in the days to come for His glory and honor. Let us turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 8 and let us read verses 16 through 19 as we continue our thoughts on the glory of God and the glorious God. For us to be glorified with him, we are to suffer with him. Sunday school teacher was teaching the story of rich man and Lazarus. At the end of the lesson, teacher of course asked, Children, who do you like to be? Class in the outside of our job and the jar to repair our children. So, it's so dear and the parents in the car. I tell you, I want to be, I want to be like the rich man here on earth, but I definitely want to be like the rich man here on earth, but I definitely want to be like Lasser in the life to come. <laughs> we live in a world, we live in a church world where glory is misinterpreted and misunderstood. If you have the largest mansion and the latest model car and the fanciest clothes, then you have the glory of God. We hear that prosperity gospel. I believe when a person chooses to follow the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, God turns that person from inside to out. We all know that when an alcoholic person is transformed by the power of the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, he is delivered from alcohol. And he is delivered from the power and slavery of alcohol. All the money that he used on alcohol is there to buy milk for the children, decent clothes for his wife, and to take care of his family. 
But many days who do not understand the glory of the gospel says, look at, he joined the Pentecostals and look at the cloth his wife is wearing, look at his children are healthy and look at the furniture in his home. Those Pentecostals must be bringing money from America and giving to him. The unregenerate man whose eyes are blinded to see the glory of the gospel doesn't recognize it is not donor from the United States of America, but it is the power of the glorious gospel. 